Today, James is hoping that the DNA test will link him to a woman who could be his sister. Hey, please, everyone, help me welcome James to the show. James, you are a fly, brother. Oh, you are you. fly. How you doing? Let man? me find out you got the memo. <laughs> you got the memo. Look, I see you. I see you. Hey, I, listen, I give it up for fashion when somebody looks great. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. So, so, James, for 59 years, yeah. you did not know anyone in your family. No. Wow. Did you have any information on them before this? No, just uh, my birth certificate, which only had my last name on it, mm -hmm. um, my mother's name, and potentially my father's name on it, who yeah. turns out not, that he wasn't my father. Yeah. And that's all the information that I had. And, and I tried to get information. The foster care system couldn't help me. Children Family Services couldn't help me. And all I, the on, only information that I got was from vital statistics. Yeah. I want to go back a little bit. What was your childhood like? <sighs> so I grew up in foster care. Um, um, I found out that my mother uh, took me to a supermarket mm -hmm. and left me there. Um, so they turned me over to Children and Family Services um, in Sacramento, California. And eventually they shipped me down to Compton, California, where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I was never adopted. I was just always in the foster care system. So about 15, 16 years old, um, it, it was a nightmare. Yeah. Um, it was verbally, physically, and sexually abusive. Mm. I'm um, so sorry. Um, my, my foster, uh, my guardians, I don't even call them my parents or my mother or father. I just, I didn't have that connection with them and they never were embraceive to me to tell me, you know, you lo I love you or, or hugs or anything like that. You described to my producers that you grew up with a, you know, with a street mentality, but what was it that made you decide that you wanted to change your life personally? Well, the street, you know, of course, I, I never joined a gang, but I fought a lot. And a lot of that steamed from, you know, just being labeled as a foster kid. Ah, yeah. uh, you don't have no mom, you don't have no dad. So, so I, I fought a lot. So it wasn't until because I was angry and I felt like I was a victim and I felt like the world owed me uh, a life that uh, I got in trouble. And in the midst of being in that trouble, I just decided, it just clicked one day, like, I don't want to live as a victim anymore. Mm. I want to be able to be productive. I want to be, uh, you know, something that people can talk about. And, mm -hmm. and I want to be an overcomer. And I just want to be those things yes. that, you know. You better share your testimony, all right? <laughs> but your stepdaughter, we all oh, saw yeah, your yeah, stepdaughter. Yeah, yeah. She got you the ancestry kit yes. that started this whole journey. And we saw, I mean, such a beautiful young woman yes. and such a beautiful relationship you two have. Tell me about that DNA kit and what that moment was for you. So she got me the DNA kit for Christmas. Mm -hmm. She was in college, so when she went off and left to go back to school, I just kind of set it on the mantel in our home mm -hmm. and just left it there. And, because I didn't really understand how important that DNA uh, test was. Yeah. It really didn't register to me. Well, part of that is because you healed from your own past. So you sort of like said, I'm, I'm done with this. That's yes. not who I am anymore. Yes. I'm here now. It makes sense. Yes, but, but still, there's still, there still was a sense of incompletion. I believe that. It wasn't until she came home from school, and so she sat me down right there and swabbed my okay. mouth. <laughs> she said, right now, we're doing this. <laughs> so what happened when you got the results? So I got the results and uh, start seeing hits. But still, even at that time, it really didn't register to me. Yeah. So I just left it there. Just so happened, you know, I'm, I'm also, because I'm a pastor, I'm also in the funeral business, too. Mm -hmm. So I answer the phone, and this lady gets on, and she's asking about someone who has been deceased about 20 years. And just the questions that she was asking, you know. She sounds like a genealogy specialist. It's exactly what she was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. I said, cool, okay, well. Um, I'm, I'm trying to find my family. I've been trying to find my family for years. Um, can you help me? Yeah. And she says, well, you know, have you ever taken a DNA test? And I was like, oh, yeah, I took the test already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So she says, well, can I have access to your, to your DNA? I was like, yeah, go right ahead. Three weeks to the date, she calls me. What did she find? I think I found links to your family on both sides. So were you able to connect with any of the family members that started calling and reaching out? Yes, yes, yes. So, so my wife, who's very smart, shout out to my wife. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> my wife, 
She decides to put together a Zoom for all of the people that were calling in. Oh, wow. So, literally on my birthday, we cut on the Zoom and there's like 30 people in it. Mm. One of the, the dreams that I always had was, I said, God, please, all I want to do is see somebody that looks like me. Yeah. Mm. Right? And so I get on this Zoom, and I see people yeah. that look just like me. Yeah. Look just like me. Yeah. There was one guy in particular, and we're thinking like he's my first cousin, and we're talking, and we, you know, we're chopping it up, and we can tell that we have a chemistry together. And so, like, a, he says, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take the test just, just to take the test. And three weeks pass, and, and he calls me. He goes, James, um, I got to tell you something. I got to send you something. I'm like, all right, all right, send it to me. So he sends me a picture of his DNA results. We're not first cousins. We're brothers. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And how long ago was this? This was last November. Last November. Yeah. So wow. since then, we've been talking and, and just, I spent Thanksgiving with him, with my family. Yeah. And we, he, he actually came uh, to Cleveland. My wife came oh, to Cleveland. Oh, look at this. I love oh. this. Is y'all when y'all reunited? <laughs> y'all do look alike. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So let me clear something about this brother. He's from your father's side of your family. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. And so that was a so the, most of the people on that Zoom was from your father's side. Yes. So what happened with your mother's side of the family? On my mother's side, I was told my mother didn't have a kid and gave it up. Mm. I didn't know how to really accept that at first. Like my father's side, I want to have a relationship with any and all siblings, which will include my mother's side as well. Got it. Mm -hmm. So on my mother's side, I got a lot of resistance because they didn't believe that their mom would have another kid and nobody else know about mm. it. You know? Why do you think they had doubts about you being their mother's child? They just never saw a baby. I was a newborn when I was shipped off. Yeah, so in and, their mind, they're like, mom was never pregnant, so. Yeah, she wasn't pregnant. I don't know where this guy's coming from. I don't know what he want, and you know, what's his ulterior motive, and what's his agenda? I have no agenda. The only agenda that I have is, literally, I want to be able to love on my family, whether it be my father's side or my mother's side, and that's it. I don't want anything yes. else. And so today, you're here to meet a potential sister from your mother's side. Yes. Got it, makes sense to me. Yes. What would this mean to you to be able to connect with that side of your family? It will totally fill the gap that I had in my heart. Mm -hmm. And yes, I have been, I've had a lot of scars, a lot of struggles and all of that, but I just think that we can turn them into a seed, that it will grow, that I'm able to have a relationship with my mother's side of the family and my father's side of the family at the same time. Yeah. How did you find this potential system? The lady that helped us, she, she was the one that found uh, Chantel. Mm -hmm. And Chantel uh, connected with me. Got it. And we talked a couple of times, but I can tell there still was some, some resistance because, you know, her siblings are telling her, no, nah, mom didn't have no kid. You can't really fight against that because that's their truth. That's are you nervous for. about receiving these DNA results? Maybe a little. Mm -hmm. But I, I truly believe that, that I, I am that child. James, are you ready? You ready? All right, well, let me, everyone, please help me welcome Chantel to the show. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yes. you, too. Uh, so I see you crying. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I feel good. Yeah? I feel, I feel good. I feel excellent. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, so did you have any idea that your mother may have <clears throat> had a child, that you may have a brother, another well, brother? When I was younger, you know, she, I kind of heard it, you know, in passing, but I never elaborated on it because I'm the baby. And, Game was eight years older than me, so. And everybody was telling me, you know, they never seen my mom pregnant. So how did you find out about James? 
um, the lady, the genealogy lady, she messaged me through Facebook. And I was like, of course, give him my number. Yeah. <laughs> of course, give him my number. So do you believe James is your brother? Yes. You do? Yep. Why do you believe that? Because he looks like us. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, I believe it. So how did your siblings react when they found out about James? They weren't too much saying that he wasn't our brother. They just wasn't happy with the idea, I want to say. So your mother has passed away. Yes. I'm very sorry she about that. She passed away in 99, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I asked James this question earlier, and I'm going to ask you the same thing. Are you nervous about these DNA results? No. No? Because I know he's my brother. Mm. Okay. James, what does it feel like for you to hear her be so confident? It's actually absolutely priceless, and I'm, I'm happy that at least one of my siblings on that side, you know, kind of kind of see the light. One of your potential siblings on that side. Yes, mm -hmm. one yeah. of, potentially. And, they, she, you know, she sees the light. <clears throat> she sees the opportunity for us to coexist as brothers and sisters. But the bottom line is, is yeah. that DNA don't lie. No. You're right, yeah, you're right, you yeah. Know? Which is why we're gonna, we're gonna get the results. Listen, everyone, before we get to the results, James' stepdaughter, Arshana, is in the audience. I wanna meet her. So I want you to get the idea. First of all, you look beautiful, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so what gave you the idea to pull all of this together for James? Yeah, so just hearing his story, I didn't have a dad in my life. Um, my mom raised me single parent, but when James came into my life, I could see how important it was to have that father figure. But James didn't have that opportunity to have a hole filled because he didn't know who his family was. And so just realizing that there was a part of him that was just missing, I wanted to be able to give him something that made him feel just a little bit better about himself. He, he considers family to be so important. He takes it very, very seriously. Like he's an that. amazing father. And like, it's crazy because I literally was just telling him that he is such a <laughs> great dad. So what do you hope happens today? Well, I hope that this just allows for everybody to mm -hmm. just get the healing and the closure that they yeah. need, no matter what the results are. Well, I can tell you, one of the main reasons that I wanted to have my own show was to do this, to be able to connect families, to have healing. You know, we all have that little child in us that needs healing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's always been my goal within my entire career. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's no better time than now to get to the DNA results. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Arshana, actually, I want to invite you down. I want to invite you down on the stage. This is a big moment for all of you. <laughs> Whatever is in this envelope not only affects you, but it affects you and affects you. Are you ready for this moment to have this outcome? Yes. You are? Yes. Here it goes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, thank you so I much. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew it. Yeah. Here you go. That's your sister right there, yeah. confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, man. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, you do. What I think is great now is about this moment is that it's, it's your ability now to really know this is your family. Yeah. The hole is closed. <laughs> the chapter is closed. You know now that that seed is planted. You can start growing with your family. Well, just, just, just the opportunity to know that <sighs> you can find your family no matter what. I'm so glad that God designed genealogy. <laughs> 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 and DNA, yeah. you know, 
<laughs> but I have to tell you, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I'm Thank so, you. you're welcome. I'm so happy that you all could come on my show, mm -hmm. on the Karamo show, and get your answers Thank and connect with your family. Thank you. I love you, you all so much. much. I'm so happy for you all. Thank you so Listen, everyone, much. look at this beautiful family right here. Give it up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.